In our previous episode, thanks to Atelier International, we managed to feature an astonishing masterpiece called the Louvre House. While our drone shots were zooming out from the area, not too far away from the premises, a property caught our eye. We then decided to ask the owners and designers of the Louvre House if they could get us introduced to the owner of the property that stands in the same row of the house. Hey, 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 thanks for reading this. No problem. Thank you. Just come in. Hey, okay, okay, come. Wow! Wow! Okay, you want some water, Alex? Yes, 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 yes. You know, the, the layout plan feels a lot like the Google house. Well, um, this is because it's done by one another. Oh, this is also by Wana? Yes. No wonder! Okay, okay, great, great. Hello, this is Alex Lee, and I am from Design Seed. Today's episode, we are about to literally knock the doors to an outstanding piece of work that we stumbled across during our shooting of our previous episode. So it has come to our surprise that this mysterious work of art standing out among the neighbourhood is also designed by One Earth, Kit and Richard themselves. The terrace architecture is divided into two structures within the home itself. Connecting the front portion of the house to the rear end of it, a steel structure bridge and staircase is built alongside this impactful open to sky courtyard paired with gracefully grown leopard trees that brings life to the heart of the property. The spatial choreography of this property is how the circulation of the home revolves around the courtyard. To move from one space to another, one would enjoy the footpath while circulating across the staircase and steel bridges with the joyful sight of the open to sky courtyard parading on the sides. Black on black requires no explanation. Its masculine and rugged stylistic character carries itself impactfully. Yet the thoughtful display of lighting design suits the finer touches in the interior. The exploration of terrazzo application for the countertop was intentionally completed in a rough surface finish. This is to complement the recycled pine wood that was applied for the kitchen shelves and doors. Though to some, this may not look refined, but to the owner, this imperfection exudes the rugged character that he wanted to achieve. The recycled pallets louvers that screens the front side of the house not only gives the property privacy and mechanizes the air ventilation, but it also acts as a feature backdrop to the entire dining space. During the day, no lighting is required to be switched on as natural lighting prevails the space with sufficient lighting to cater for work or reading. The owner wanted a house that he could live in while embracing the tropical weather. Every morning, the natural sunlight beams into the bedroom through the full height windows, emphasizing the beauty of the high pitched roof design. This side of the slanted ceiling reflects greatly on one Earth's core value of their passion of recycling. The designers choose this wood from timber pallets and applied it throughout the property, recycling the material and giving it a new life and new ownership. This boxed-up balcony pictures a beautiful view of the greeneries outside the balcony and this is also where the owner enjoys cross-ventilation of the property while doing his workouts in the morning.
emphasizing the love for nature, the owner enjoys the sun and rain. The house is designed to connect the outdoors into the interior, creating an environment that the owner truly enjoys. The design intention of the Black on Black house is for the owner to be able to connect with nature. Waking up every morning as he comes down the stairwell, the leopard trees greet him with a subtle enthusiasm, which is rather inspiring as Richard describes this feeling. When he comes down to the living hall, opening up the louver blinds, watering the plants, thereafter enjoying his cup of tea while reading. His daily routine is his set, his meditation, and a perfect start to kick off his day. The owner has an exquisite sentimental taste for unique art pieces and furnitures, some of which were handmade during his days in Shanghai, or even parts of machineries which he decided to recycle them into furniture. The rear side of the property faces a busy main road. Hence, a feature wall was built to shield the unsightly view and to accommodate a new water feature with some landscape. A couple of years back, when Richard and Kit were travelling in Thailand and Cambodia, they came to learn that many hotels and restaurants have some form of water feature at the rear of the properties. A local architect friend of theirs shared it helps with reducing heat gain at the rear and it is also visually calming to look at. Therefore, they decided to apply this concept on the black on black and true enough, it helped to reduce the home temperature quite a fair bit. The black on black story started based on a simple recycled material. It was an experiment that we wanted to explore on the wooden pallets by touching the surface of the pallets. Thereafter, sealing it with a selected type of oil, it turns the pallet into a dark toned wood. There then, basically, that's the story of the black wood on the black house. It was an intention to craft a forest in the center of the property by planting seven beautiful leopard trees. There are two types of ventilation flow that we have introduced into the property. One is the cross ventilation and the other one is the stack ventilation. We achieved the cross ventilation by making the space on the ground floor as open as possible, large window openings and minimal partitions that blocks the flow. Whereas the stack ventilation is an idea inspired by the Penang longhouses where heat escapes through the center of the open courtyard. We believe that we give the property a second life, the recycled wood a new purpose and a new home for the owner. My name is Robert Powell. I am a writer and publisher of books on Southeast Asia. What I was looking for was uh, houses which were naturally ventilated. You don't have to have air conditioning on. 
at any time during the day, it's comfortable. The second criteria was I wanted to get sunlight into the building without it becoming suffering from solar uh, glare or from heat. And it works perfectly. This central light well allows the light to come in without, as I say, uh, making it uncomfortably hot. The, the, the deciding factor was the fact that because it's a house, it's called black on black, you might think, black on black, it's going to be so dark in here. But the reverse is actually the case. It, uh, it, it's elegant and, and it's uh, sophisticated, as I say, and uh, it's just a perfect place for, for, for you to live a, a wonderful, comfortable life. These three criteria are why I selected this house to go into the book, The Tropical Malaysian House, Volume 2. To some of us, building homes is not just an occupation. Giving life to this home is what we strive for. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Scene. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to more inspiring episodes. Thank you for watching.